you know, he would step across the line. Habitually, he's a habitual line stepper. <laughs> Steppers podcast. I am Garrett Langley Henson. And I understand that my name is Terry Ricardo de Shades of the Second, which means my initials start with turd two. I get it. It makes sense. This shit's funny. Stop making fun of me online. This shit's not cool. <laughs> oh my God. Like if Osmosis Jones had a baby with Turd Ferguson. <laughs> Yeah, man. It hey, is what it is. Let me, but we let back, me do my best what we this one? Soccer Saturday. Soccer Saturday, Soccer. baby. Yes, hey, well, and if we post it. Installation. What's up? I said if we post it late, it's still Soccer Sunday. What's up? <laughs> well, you can't. Hey, look, you can't trip us up. On a Sunday. I'm about to post it, so Soccer Sunday. <laughs> Soccer Sunday, baby. <laughs> All right, man. Well, let's get right along to it. Um, we're talking about the Champions League, man. And it's the round of 16. During the week previous, we got to witness the first four games. So yep. we had uh, Barcelona playing PSG, Porto playing Juve, uh, Sevilla playing Dortmund, and Leipzig playing Liverpool. Now, yep. obviously, we know how all those games turned out. Uh, but let's start with the one that is fresh in everyone's minds. PSG, Barcelona. Yes, PSG sir. Or Barcelona won. Garrett, I will leave this up to you. Give the people what they want. Give the people what they want. Trash your team. Trash your Barcelona team. You had the big flag in your background. Now you got this fucking nice <laughs> Last Supper NBA thing. Oh Tell me what's God. wrong. What's wrong with your boys? We've been talking about this for years. Hey, listen. What's going on? You're, I'll tell you what's missing from this painting is Ronald Koeman is under the table eating the scraps is, is what's going on. You can't see it probably because he's obscured by a tablecloth with his pig looking ass. Listen, man, you're playing, you're playing PSG, all right? Yep. They, which features the fastest, most terrifying, physically imposing player in the world. His solution to remedy Kylian Mbappe was to play PK and Clement Longley partnered <laughs> in center defense. Keep in mind, Longley had not played for a month, and PK hadn't played in six weeks or three months. Three before. months, bro. Yeah. PK hadn't played in three months, hadn't and you threw him months. out. You threw him out there against Mbappe, bro. You as soon as like- I saw the formation, like the lineup, I turned to my buddy. I was like, oh, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, these center. Th- this is a a, a a triangle that this is worse than the Bermuda Triangle. I'll, and I'll tell you why. The fucking PK Longley Busquets slow white guy trio that they're throwing out here against Mbappe. Yeah. Uh, it had a predictable result to an even more predictable uh, coach who just yeah. Assumed, you know, experience is going to win out, even though I have Ronald Araujo on the bench. Yeah. Fucking fast. <laughs> or Mingeza, who eventually yeah. came in on the second half. But, you know, it all ended when you put that triangle together of Busquets, uh, Longley, and PK. Yeah. It was over then. Yeah, I mean, they're three of the slowest players in the fucking world, bro. Not even, like, in Spain. Like, they're slow as shit. It's an all-time slow team. Like, they're really slow, that trio. And I can't believe that's what your boy threw out there on the field. I can't believe it. Do you see the picture of PK grabbing it? Oh, yeah. (laughs) Bro, it's pathetic, son. It's fucking pathetic, man. This is how you know how slow PK is. This is why how you know he had no business guarding Mbappe. In the picture, both of PK's feet are on the ground, and he has a handful of Mbappe's shirt. Mbappe is running so fast, neither foot of his is touching the ground <laughs> in the picture while this dude is grabbing him. Bro, he – he it was – it was a breathtaking performance. But before we get too deep into it, is Barcelona done? It's the question that we ask every year. 
Are they through? Are they finished? Are they ever going to win again? Hey, man, what did I say last year? <laughs> <laughs> rebuild. What did I say the year before that? Rebuild, son. Yes, tear it down and rebuild. The children are the future. The children yeah. of the future, Terry. We got Ricky Pooj. We have Ansu Fati. We oh, have God. Pedri. We have Dest. You know what I mean? Araujo is a good player. He's pretty we good. Have, you know what I mean? So we have like a handful of promising young players that should be our core to build around. There's no need to spend $60 million to get Pjanic so we can sit him on a bench the whole season like we've done this year. Yeah. My message has been the same for two and a half, three years. Yeah, they're, they're horrible, bro. Stop they're wasting done. money, invest in the youth academy, tear the shit down, and, yeah. and you have smart purchases. Sell messy. Listen, I, t- I sell messy, bro. It's, nah, it's a guaranteed that. 200 million. Free. Yeah, they're idiots. They pulled a dumbass for free. Yeah, and I can't believe they did that. Apparently, we're in more debt than any team in the Champions League. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the latest figures they said they're 700 million dollars in debt, <clears throat> dude. It, it's over, bro. Y'all are done, bro. It oh. was no look. It was four to one. PSG, I don't even think they're winning in their league at this moment in time. They're not even winning in the, the French Farmers league. only league. And you lost to them four to one. Neymar did not play. So everybody's like, oh, well, we got that win. No. Di Maria didn't even play in the game either. It was only in I wish, he, I wish, he, had. I wish <laughs> he had played. He would have clogged up some of that space that Mbappe was running through trying to cut into the box. Nah, I mean, that trio works for them, bro. But, like, I, you got – is bro, a calamity of errors, man. The whole game. The whole fucking game. They and, embarrassed you. And he got outcoached by a dude who's been coaching PSG for, like, 10 days. Yeah, definitely. Pocatino just fucking got there and has already yeah. ten, 10 times the coach that Ronald Koeman has ever been in his career. Yeah. And, he needs to go. Oh, he's gone, dude. Trust me, who, whoever, whoever, <laughs> at one point this season, Terry, we were like eighth in La Liga. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all, are, y'all were struggling. You're still struggling. Like, I'm not yeah. sitting here and saying, like, you guys got this. You're fucking Dude, up. If we get knocked out in the last 16 of the Champions League and finish, like, third in La Liga, there's no mm-hmm. way you're staying on this coach. Yeah, you have to go. You yeah. have to go. Even the dude who had uh, cancer. Tito Villanova. They were talking about firing his ass because he finished second one year. Because he had cancer? They fired him? No, they fired him. <laughs> oh, <that's No. laughs> hey, they weren't <laughs> giving him the Kevin Garnett treatment, bro. Cancer to the team? Nah, he can stick around. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cancer to the team, son. Nah, that's Pepe. Hey, look. Oh, God. Look, uh, he, grew, he grew his hair back, so I don't want to hear none of that cancer <laughs> shit. That leukemia patient came back. Who goes bald and then after they move from Madrid, they're like, you know what? I'm gonna just grow this luscious locks. Like he could grow hair the whole time. He went the to whole the, time. Carlos Bar- uh, Boozer School of Barber. Oh hell no! Nah. <laughs> that shit ain't real. Oh, that's not real fake. hair, Terry. Don't that's Lego fake. hair. Don't fake on Pepe's hair, bro. It's beautiful hair, son. <laughs> it's Lego. <Yeah>. Hair. <laughs> <laughs> That boy got that wig, that beautiful Steve about Harvey to be wig. Like, boom, and just put that <laughs> shit on the left back, and he gonna go right back to be a ball. Look exactly you like. Know, if, he gets, if he's on a yellow card in a crucial game, just take his fucking hair off and put it on some scrub, and let him get a clean bill of health. <laughs> hey, look, let me tell you something, man. It, it's we already knew it was over for Barca, so this ain't no surprise to me. To be honest with you, it's not a surprise. Honestly, it's surprised that you made it out the fucking six, like made it to the round of sixteen. All right, let's not be ridiculous. It's you still, guys suck. Bro, we still got Messi. Like even he can beat Varenkaros and you all, all these have people. the laziest version of Messi. Oh That's yeah, what you have. Oh yeah, you we don't have, have Lionel Messi. You got like mm, little, little Messi, maybe little Leo. Nah, little Mess. We got. I don't know what to call him. We got uh, Lionel No, is what they call it. <laughs> he will not run. He will not run. I think That's... they said it, bro. They said in the PSG game, 
he Messi ran less than PSG's goalkeeper. <clears throat> he looks like Lionel Richie. <laughs> <laughs> And he was looking at Mbappe oh, like, God. look, the way Mbappe was scoring and shit, after every celebration, Messi's just like, I'm like, I sometimes look and gaze at on my door. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Mbappe was Lionel Richie because he was Hello? open all night long. Is it you I'm looking for? It's over, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's Pep who's singing that to Messi. Yeah, definitely. The summer. Definitely. <laughs> Hey, he look! Have a fucking uh, uh, gigantic boombox on his shoulders in front of Barcelona playing "Baby Come Back," wearing all Man City <laughs> shit. <laughs> you can put it all on me. I should have never gone to buy it. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. Hey, look! Now we can we can transition onto an article that you even wrote about. On thehlspod.com, is Mbappe the truth, bro? Is Mbappe is he, the best in the world right now? Is he the truth, man? Is he the best? I'm asking you this question. Tell the people. What are you thinking? Tick, tock, tick, tock. Is he the best? No, he's not. <laughs> he's not the Who's best. better than him right now? I would say... There are only two people that you could that you could plausibly make an argument for. All right, I'm listening. The first is Messi. The second is Robert Lewandowski. That's one I can agree with. Lewandowski, I can agree with Lewandowski. Lewandowski, who plays the same position as Mbappe, has scored much more goals than him. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think it's more assists too. He, and it, 2019, he's averaged more than a goal a game, which is in 2019. Stupid. No, since 2019. Oh, oh, since 2019. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean he's a beast. He's a beast. We're everybody sleeps on him because you know he's playing Germany, but the German league is better. But than but the French the, league. Everybody's so quick to say Met. Like I saw your face when I said Messi, and you're like, oh, blasphemous. In in your mind, in his little Manchester City mind, he's like. Kevin De Bruyne is better than Messi. <laughs> he's, been, he's been having a better season than Messi has. Wait, do you see what happens next next season, Terry, when Messi leaves Barcelona and he's not surrounded by the likes of Jordi Alba <laughs> and he's playing these fucking through balls in to world class players? Who, quote Mbappe said, "I will kill you in the streets" to Jordi Alba. He said that to him like four times in the game. Yeah. Jordi Alba's trash. But look, I, Messi, I, bro. I tell you what, if he keeps fucking around like that, he's going to get killed out here in these streets. Though. <laughs> <laughs> it might he's not bad. be from Mbappe. It might be from another disgruntled Barcelona fan like myself who's seen enough. Yeah, it might be from Messi himself. Hello? <laughs> Is it you I'm looking for? He's crying while he's killing him. It's over, bro. <laughs> Did you see, real quick before we move on, the Griezmann and PK fight during the game that they released the audio of? Cause there's nah, nah, nah. I missed that. Yeah, the cameras pick up everything because there's no fans there now. And mm -hmm. PK was, like, yelling at this motherfucker because he'd lost another ball again. And PK was, like, screaming at him in Spanish, like, I'm suffering out here. Like, I can't believe you lost the ball again, <laughs> you motherfucker. And yeah, then yeah. he just goes, your mom's pussy. Whoa, that is – oh, my God, that's foul. Yeah, man. That is foul. Yeah. He so, stepped uh, across the line. We, I, I asked him if he wanted to come on the pod, but <laughs> he wasn't available for comment. Because <laughs> he didn't speak English? He was like, what? No, I think it was so, like, we going to pull his pigtails all the way from Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look to 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 uh to answer your question about the bop though about M bop, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, bro. Go ahead, Kobe. No, nah, honestly, bro. Like he, I think he's the one, bro. I think he's the one. He's just a little different, man. He does a lot more things that other players like can't do. And then when you add the pace to the shit that he can do, like it kind of just. That's the tipping point for me. But I like fast players. That's just me. Cool. Now, 
aesthetically and like players. I mean, some people don't. You know, some I, people like slow players. I don't want to Bro, watch. You know, people love Busquets. I want a whole team full of Olivier Giroux. <laughs> Talk to me right now and don't say Tiki Taka didn't have super fast players. They ain't have no super fast players on that team. Oh, that was super fast, motherfucker. The Barcelona, yeah, that Barcelona team. They ain't have no fast players on that team that like super that. Fast motherfuckers. Yeah, it's just messy. That was it. They have Danny Alves. Yeah, that's pretty fast. Yeah, three out of the whole team. Jordi Alba, Danny Alves, Lionel Messi. That's it. What about Thierry Henry? Are we gonna count him with the the squad? Are you talking about the new joint? Because they had no, uh, no, 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 no. Not the. I was talking about that. You know, the original team with like Pep in them. Yeah, Thierry Henry was on that team. He wasn't that fast when he got over to Barca like that, man. You, we ain't go. He hasn't a blazer, son. Dude, you he tripping? Was, he not. He wasn't Mbappe, but he was still fast. He wasn't a. He wasn't anyway, a. Continue telling me why Mbappe is the uh, the best in the world right now. He just showed you in a game, in an important ass game, right there. No, he didn't have Neymar. He didn't have Di Maria, who were the top goal scorers on their team and assist makers and playmakers. And he single-handedly beat Barcelona. He scored three goals. Hat trick on a huge stage in an away game at Barcelona and destroyed y'all. Straight up. He did. He, he came did. up big. But this one game, he's been a great run of form. If you just looked at that one game, you'd think he's the best in the world. He was great last year. I think – you could have put any fast dude in against, <laughs> against that slow white triangle, <laughs> and they would have looked like world class players, man. Oh, so we're just gonna say Barcelona is so bad. Whoever would have scored any amount of goals on them is just no, like. Fuck. I'm, not, I'm not saying anybody, but I'm saying the posit like. If you just watched this game, all the conditions were just favorable enough for him to explode like this. If he had this performance later against, like, Atletico Madrid, I'd be yeah. like, all right, you know what? He's the best. Mm-hmm. Like, if he's tearing up a great defense like that, it's like, you know yeah. what? I give it up. But he's, I hear you. I hear you. Two guys who haven't played soccer in a combined four and a half months before the Very game. Very valid. Who were slow as fuck when they were fully fit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In their primes. Mm-hmm. And Long Lay, Long Lay is in his prime, and he's still slow. Bro, that no, I, that's that's the granted. That's granted. I'll give you that. He taken a long way off the roster to go back to playing for Kazim's or uh, Recreativo Welka. You might see him playing for uh, Hoffenheim next year or something like that. I mean, yeah, he he he, he played pretty bad. Uh, I could, he got me stuttering. He's playing so bad. I don't even know what to say. Like, I I I, I can't believe what I'm watching about this guy. <laughs> Trying to pronounce his name for the first time. <laughs> from Sevilla, I was like, who the fuck is Yonglet? <laughs> nah, but yeah. Hey, look, that's that's just what I think right now in this moment. Like realistically, Lewandowski's better. But uh, the, I'd in, say what, what, in what in what I like to see, Mbappe is a guy for me. This could be this appears like it may be the passing of the torch year where Ronaldo has declined uh mm-hmm. noticeably. Messi yeah. had a really rough start start of the season is playing much yeah. better the last two months. But you know the the two Titans that were at the top of football yeah. for a decade are starting yeah. to show signs of rust. And yeah. this could be the season that somebody young like Holland or Mbappe or even Neymar, you know, kick the door in and yeah. say yeah. This is my era now. Or yeah. it could be they think is their era, and Messi Ronaldo has another couple, two years left in him, and they say, you know, wait a second, young, so you're going to have to take it from me. Maybe. No, I could only say Messi. Oh, Messi goes to City. If he gets yeah, a yeah, yeah. where he's surrounded by world-class players, I'm watching the, the – what is it, the game that we played Cadiz right before Barcelona. He, yeah. He could have had six assists in the first half, Terry. Mm-hmm. These balls that he's whipping into the back post of guys like Martin Braithwaite so they can kick it over to goal from inside the six-yard box. Yeah. They're making him look a lot worse than he is, too. And so if you're surrounded by scrubs, he's like, why am I going to run like a chicken with his head cut off all game? I'm no, I hear you. Oh, I hear you. Fuck here. You guys are going to miss it anyway. Hey, look, this is the first time ever in your life you're making the complete sense. Like, this is 
<laughs> this is uh, this is an anomaly. But I, I, everything you're saying is true, man. <laughs> everything you're saying is true. Usually, everything you're saying is complete horseshit that comes out of your ass. You know, it's just spewed, and it's like a fucking thunderstorm of chocolate, chocolate rain. <laughs> But this yeah, time, I'm talking about my sex life on the pod, man. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Spreck and say poop. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, look, hey, Messi, I have full confidence that he still can be the best player. Ronaldo, he's definitely declined. He's done. But Messi, if you put him on a team like City, yeah, he's definitely gonna be the dude. Cause City doesn't. They have standout players, but they don't have, like, an individual. Like, De Bruyne, he's great, yeah. But nobody's like, he's the best player in the world. Like, he's playing really well. Uh, Because Aguero's hurt, and that's a fucking center forward or a striker. Yeah, Yeah, they're definitely missing one. All that shit. Yeah, we're missing one of those. But we're still dominating the league, so it is what it is. So, uh, fucking Pep will uh, drive Gabriel Jesus back to Rio Janeiro himself. (laughs) his ass out. (laughs) <laughs> out of a fucking wheelbarrow if they get messy. Hey, true that, man. True that. So, speaking of teams that would love to get messy. All right. Almost anybody. Uh, <laughs> so, be Juve. <laughs> That's yep. a nice transition, but we could have gone from, from Messi to Ronaldo. Ronaldo blows. So, no, we don't want to talk about that. Uh, he felt aggrieved during that game because uh, I don't know if you've watched much of it. But he had this really nice joint where they played it long to him, and he mm-hmm. missed it one time, and then did his like the Ronaldo chop Croy yeah, yeah. or whatever off the mm-hmm. chest. It was like Ooh. at speed, he got it perfect. Defender swept his legs, and they call no PK. Oh wow, damn! Of course, he spent the next forty minutes complaining. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they lost two one. Yeah. Look, man, that's his only downfall, bro. He can't let shit go. Like, on the field, he's a complete idiot. Like, he's a dick. All you got to do is just fuck with him, and he just completely loses his game. Now, some games he gets really mad and he plays well. Like, but the there's a lot. Game. <laughs> yeah. But there's a lot of times where, like, he's just pouting, especially if the refs don't give him calls. He'll just pout his way out of the game. Like, the shit's ridiculous. He used to do that a lot in the beginning of his career. And then he kind of stopped that shit when he was at Real Madrid. He was kind of yeah. playing through a bunch of stuff. But yeah, uh, it's all like what the coach lets you get away with, too. Like, yeah. You're, yeah. Coach, your coach, how the fuck is he going to tell Ronaldo, hey, shut up and get back on defense? Like, you know what I, I mean? I mean, he, he, he kind of could if he wanted to. Yeah, it's a little different with Sir Alex Ferguson. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was when he was young, though. That's It's a lot different, you know? Can Sir Alex Ferguson coach Ronaldo at 36 when he scored 787 club goals? Maybe not. Ronaldo's like, the fuck I'm getting back on defense for? Have you scored any goals? No. Who are you? Sir Alex Ferguson? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Sir, get the fuck out of here. Your uh, name's Alex. Uh, shout out to Santi. Did you see Bent on Core's horrific back pass? <laughs> Yo, that's the – so let's go over this game for real. So Porto beat these fuckers 2-1. Mm-hmm. At home, Juve did get an away goal, so that was that was still pretty important to know because it's two legs in the Champions League uh, round, like the knockout rounds. That shit was pretty trash. That back pass was bad. And that was in, like, the first, what, two minutes of the game? Yeah, it was out the gate. And it was one of these passes that was, like, he had to just have not seen that there was anybody there. Like, there's I'm, no way you can in good conscience even attempt to play that. I, I think I disagree with you, bro. I think he knew he was there. That's what a lot of people were saying. I think he knew he was there, but he, the way he played it, he wasn't looking at the ball and shit. He was, like, looking off to the right. Like, he knew he was there, and when he hit it, he was like, oh, I fucked up. You know when you play a pass and it's oh, a little yeah. off? You think he just yeah. shanked it? He just fucking shanked it because it was soft as fuck, too. It was really oh, soft and way oh, off to the left. It was, like, on a pillow. Like, yeah. Was and when he hit it, son – when he hit it, he knew. Like I wouldn't. I would say if he the way he reacted when he hit it, mm-hmm. is the reaction was like, "Oh shit, I fucked that up." They're about to score. It wasn't like, "Oh, there's no one coming." Like he didn't like pass it and then she's like, "La di da di da." As soon as he hit it, he was like, "Oh shit," you know what I'm saying? He, he really like, oh, was there. Shit. There's a guy there right in front it's- of the goal. He's running with the ball. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it was a fifty-fifty, and you know, granted, the goalie did get it first. Chesney got it first, but it hit off of the fucking uh, Ahmad, whatever the guy's name is. Get no chance, man. They hung him out to dry on that. 
Yeah, they fucked him on that one. That was bad. And to be honest with you, Juve was not necessarily dominating the game, but they definitely were the better team throughout the game. But that's how poor – I mean, I still think they're going to go through, man. You know, yeah, yeah. I anticipate them turn around in the, in the second leg. Porto is not that inspiring this year. No, nah, no. Nah. You know what I mean? They, they got the Mexican dude on the right who creates everything, and then two pretty good forwards who uh, challenge people with physicality and are good finishers. But yeah, there's really only like one outlet to create all their goals. Pretty much. It, I mean, honestly, bro, it was just two two mistakes by Juve, honestly. Yeah. So if floppy. Gift in that shit, they'll probably be fine. Yeah. They were, bro, like they were sleeping. They were sleeping in the first. 10 minutes of that game in the beginning. And then when they came out in the second half, sleeping again, and then Porto scored another quick, easy goal. Yep, yep. And I tell you what, even though I said all that stuff about them coming back and have maybe uh, overturned the tide in the second leg, they got to be prepared for a dogfight because you're going to be going up against Pepe. Mm -hmm. That you have to score two goals. Honestly, don't. You know they don't take a red to preserve a (laughs) – Absolutely. <laughs> no question about it. I really don't think it's that hard. I just really think they took Porto for granted. I think Juventus took Porto for granted. They were like, yeah, we got this. And because they didn't, it's not like they didn't get their shit rocked, but it was definitely like, oh, it's one of those games where like it was really hard to score a goal for some reason. Like they had really good chances and they just weren't making them. Mm-hmm. And then what, at the end of the day, he was down. Dabala. Say it one more time. What has happened to Paolo Dabala? I think those injuries are fucking him up, man. He can't get – when he has a consistent run, like, throughout a season, he has proven to be, like, a really good player. Like, pretty much, like, top 25 top player in the world type shit. He was but, before Ronaldo came. They haven't yeah. to, to coexist at all. He just can't stay on the field consistently, man. It, it kind of blows. It really does. Because you can't get any chemistry with the guy. I'll tell you what, he'd be right for a change of scenario. Maybe. Well, you should be lurking. Maybe. I would take him. He's good. But honestly, actually, I don't even think I would take him. He gets hurt too much. He's literally hurt like every seven games he's out. Even Maybe even like more often than that. He's always out. Yeah. Oh, I tell there's you. Only two, there's only two stretches where he had like um, – two good seasons, and he was the team MVP when he was uh, had that stretch two years ago when Juve won the league. And then he had a good stretch when Pogba was there, and he was, like, almost young player of the year, like, for UEFA. Yep. He was He's dead. a good player. That's when people were calling him the new Messi. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> every, every, everybody's always the new Messi, but no one's the, actually the new Messi. No. <laughs> There's never going to be another Messi, y'all. No. Not anytime soon. It's going to take a minute. All you motherfuckers who keep calling Jack Grealish right-footed Messi, stop <laughs> with that shit. It's so disrespectful. And then they'll turn around and say something. Oh, Messi couldn't do anything in a cold, wet night in Ipswich Town. Come on, stop. Yeah. That's the stupidest argument I've ever heard in my life. Oh, Messi my. could do whatever he wants anytime he wants. He's playing on land, and you motherfuckers are stuck in the mud. You're swimming, and he's running. You ain't doing shit for him. You can't no. stop him. You know who else is stuck in the mud, Terry? Our boy Giovanni Reyna, who did not hey. start Dortmund's uh, game against Sevilla on Wednesday. Yep. He's been coming off the bench the last couple joints. Yeah. Um, hard to find it. Dortmund ended up winning uh, 3-2. Aaron mm-hmm. uh, Holland had two goals and an assist. Generally looking like another unstoppable physical monster, just like Mbappe. I'm telling you, didn't I tell you? Well, y'all watch. Remember when I told you that uh, he was going to break the UEFA Champions League record this year? You did. You did. He's on pace. Yep. He's got like 18 goals or something like that. He's got what are you talking about, fool? Holland. No, the record is uh, 17, I think. No, he's got For- like. 18 in his career. Oh, 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 you're talking about for his career. Yeah, which in like which is the quickest ever to That's like pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. It Mbappe's at like 20 or something like yeah. that. It's taking him like mm-hmm. three times the amount of time that Holland has. It's, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, uh, yeah, you're talking career-wise. He has 18 and 13 games, 18 yeah. goals in 13 games. That's pretty ridiculous. That's freaking wild, man. <laughs> that, talk about prolific. He's a monster. Two goals. One nice, assist. pretty nice goals. And then the one assist. He yeah. contributed for everything that they did. And that was a hell of a game. That was a really exciting game to watch. And a couple other runs that could have been, like, rewarded with a good through ball, in my opinion. Because yeah. he uh, – Kuande, in particular, Ragged, who uh, mm-hmm. used to get by with his physicality. He's used to being just as fast as the strikers and stronger than them. Yeah. Out with Holland, he got bullied. Yeah. Holland was pushing his ass all over, faster than him, stronger than him, playing with his bag to the goal. And even yeah. when, like when he didn't have the ball, just like seeing him in set pieces, just box someone out near post. I'm like, ooh, yeah. this man's a freak. <clears throat> The thing is, the funny thing is, like, for Dortmund, and it was good to see, they are mainly, like, a possession-based, like, soccer team. And in this game, Sevilla dominated possession, 66 to 34, and Dortmund still looked like they were, like, dominating the game, you know? Even with uh, Marco Royce playing, like, ass, too. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he didn't play well. But, I mean, he's still – as long as he's not hurt, he's going to give you way more good games than he's going to give you bad. So – Sit his ass down. You're going to take him. Put Reyna in. My two cents. Say that one more time without uh, doing that gay voice at the end. Sit fucking Marco Royce down on the bench and put Giovanni Reyna in the game. What? Royce has not been good since he was on the cover of FIFA, man. He got FIFA cursed. No way. I mean, he's, he's struggling. He's struggling, but what's up with Gio, though? Yeah, man, get the people what they want. Give the young boy a chance. He's 17 years old. He looks like he's 28. Like, yeah, he kind of does. <laughs> he does. What's up with him, though? Is it, why is he not playing anymore? He just had oh, a bad – Oh, you're talking about – um Giovanni, Giovanni Reyna. <laughs> I'm talking about Giovanni Reyna. <laughs> I know. That was probably a pituitary <laughs> gland problem why he, he looks so old. <laughs> Why does he look like a man when he's a boy? Right. <laughs> well, oh, my God. the Baltic region. Oh, my God, dude. It all yeah, starts with sardines. Why do you think he's not playing, son? You are ridiculous, man. <laughs> Why do you think he's not playing, bro? Is uh, it just his, his form isn't, like, the greatest yeah, right now? He keeps fucking losing the ball, trying to dribble too much. He kind of does. He yeah. kind of does. That's he needs what, to get back to passing. Scored a couple bangers, like cutting in and hitting the far post shit after mm-hmm. he passed one or two people. And now yeah. he might skip past everyone instead of just making it simple play. Yeah. Now you're right. I, but I think that selfishness, it kind of fucked up the team too. Because those goals that you're talking about, like those nice ass, beautiful goals that he scored, they lost those games. Right. They yeah. I think they tied one and then the other one they got smacked. Yep. It was like four one. You know? He he He's got that selfishness in him. But at the end of the day, if you want to help the team out, do what you do best or do what seems like is best for the team, bro. Don't be selfish. Pass that shit to the guy who is clearly one of the best players in the world. Give the fucking ball to Erling Haaland and give that shit to Jaden Sancho and chill and out. Sancho is like second or third in, uh, in all of Europe in assists. Yeah, he's really good at passing. And he's low-key fucking selfish too. Like all his <laughs> yes. are like the Kobe assists. Where you suck three people and then dish it out. They're not so, the yeah. analysis where it's like, yeah. you know, yeah. sometimes. That's the defense before they rotate. Yeah, no, nah, it, it, it's definitely like that sometimes. Even the assist that he gave Allen in the game, mm-hmm. in the, this uh, recent game or whatever, eh, keeper could have got that shit. It's not like it was like a dying pass. You know, like the one two combo, it wasn't like the greatest pass I'd ever seen. Yeah, Sevilla's goalie only plays well, apparently, when they play Barcelona. <laughs> really I don't watch this dude play. He plays like shit. <laughs> oh, man. All right. It so, is what it is, man. We got uh, – who you got taking this one eventually in the second leg? Ooh, for the second? Uh, I got Dortmund winning, bro. I think I got Dortmund. You got Dortmund taking it? Yeah. I mean, they beat – that's another one of those games. Sevilla, that was a home game for Sevilla. So Dortmund put three away goals on Sevilla's two home goals. Yep. And you all know if the shit's tied up at the end. They got one by got, two now. 
Yeah, like they got three or, or away goals. Die, like four three or win four three or some <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it ain't happening, bro. I, I don't see it happening. I don't think so either. Uh, Sufi has been so good at the back this season and have such mm-hmm. really good in the midfield as well. For them yeah. to like, I don't think they expected that they'd ever be giving up three goals in, in Andalusia. Nah. I don't think they ever. Nah. Been, I mean, and then even they – so they scored two, but the one goal was a deflection goal. The yeah. dude shot it, it hit Hummels, and it barely squeaks in. But like we said, uh, Holland had his way all day. And this, uh, one, uh, this is one of the um, things you got to be careful of when you play two small center backs. Yeah, true. You know I mean, they're true both that. they're both faster guys. They're good with their feet. Um, Kawande is more athletic than the Brazilian dude. But, yeah. you know, both of these guys are 5'10". Yeah. No, that's true. And the, but the thing is for them, that's that's an, that's something you – like, Holland is going to fuck you. Like, he's better than your two center backs. We get that. The thing is, you can't keep having pointless possession. You can't have 66% possession and still give up three goals. Yep. You have to be more direct or only score two goals. And one and a half goals really is what you scored. One goal was nice. The other one was just some bullshit. Well, you know You got to be more direct. That's a perfect transition. To our next game, man. So, we've talked about the games that have been played. Now let's switch to the ones that have yet to be played coming up this week. Oh, oh, oh. you missed one game. Oh, shit. Liverpool. You all, oh, you disrespecting them like that? Liverpool and Leipzig. This is over. Wow. In a box. Uh, fucking, this was in Germany, wasn't it? That they won. Uh, nah, it was yeah, yeah. It was in it was in Leipzig. It was in Leipzig. Yeah, yeah this is over. Uh, Mane <laughs> and Salah. At least, uh, at least the American played well at right back. He didn't. Tyler Adams didn't fuck anything up the whole game. He played good. Nah. Yeah, he played all right. All the goals came from the left. All the goals came from bullshit. Is what they came from. It was a sloppy play. Did you see the joints? I didn't. Bro. I just saw, or I didn't see the game. I just saw the the one minute highlights. The you saw both of the goals though, right? Yeah. Fucking straight sloppy pass from uh, Leipzig, and then Salah scores that goal. Then another, literally, the dude cleared it. Opa Makana or the, whatever the other black guy, I can't remember his name. Uh, falls on the, yeah, I think it might have been him. He yeah. falls on the ground, and then Mane has a one on one and he score. Hey, you don't give Mane and Salah opportunities like that yeah. because. That they're gonna put them away, man. They're yeah. the two deadliest wingers in the world. Yeah, you got to make them earn everything. You can't just be like fucking Nino Brown with turkeys at Thanksgiving. Here you go, Sonny. <laughs> here, here you go. Whatever. Giving them gifts. Uh-huh. Yeah. Jeez. Boy, you're giving them gifts, son. They literally just bowed it up. They bowed it up for him. They wrapped it up and they gave it to him as a gift. They said, "Enter my home." It's ridiculous, bro. But. The thing about it is they still almost scored a, a decent amount of goals on them. Like, there's still a chance that they – like, it's not like Liverpool was dominating them. And Liverpool's still on a bad run of form. They're in fourth place in the Premier League. They're not really playing that well. And those goals were just lucky-ass goals. So, even if I'm Leipzig, you, you still have a chance. They didn't threaten Liverpool at all, which you got to do when they're playing fucking two midfielders as their center backs. But yeah. it's tough when you're starting Yusuf Poulsen instead of Timo Werner. Yeah, that, that's tough. That's, that's definitely tough. Man. Talent. You're going to yeah. watch the end of this cycle for uh, for Julian Nagelsmann's team for Leipzig. They got a lot yeah. of good promising young players that are about to move on to greener pastures. That's just what it seems like. Pano, who just uh, got bought by Bayern. There's yeah. a litany of these guys, seven, eight, yeah. who go off and become world-class players otherwise. You and the coach them. is gone. You hate to see it. If they could just get a striker who's worth a shit, they could be a, the second best team in Germany. Uh, yeah. In the decade. But it, I don't know. For Corona, it, it, they had no chance with all the like financial shit going on in the world. Yeah. They, they had no chance. So the, they're Super gonna League. out quick, fast, in a hurry. And I anticipate this is going to be one of the last times we talk about Leipzig uh, after in, in the Champions League after their exodus of talent. We'll never talk about them again. <laughs> <laughs> In any capacity. 
All right, well, let's go to a team that I legitimately never enjoy talking about, which is, of course, Pathetico Madrid. All right, so we're going to preview the next uh, four games coming up? Preview the next one coming up. We got Chelsea versus Pathetico. Pathetico. What you got? Who you liking? I know who you don't like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right now, top of my shit list is fucking Tuchel, the new coach of Chelsea. What kind of name is that? <laughs> I'm not doing the French Tuchel. No, oh, this, my God. You're on a, cool. on a American podcast. <laughs> so listen here, Tuchel. You better start playing Captain America, motherfucker. Too cool. That shit gave me a <laughs> too cool gave me a tickle. That shit made me giggle. <laughs> Play Captain America. He might score two goals. I don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> Listen, so half jam poetry, but it is coming from the heart. And when you what you were saying earlier about a whole bunch of possession that goes nowhere, that's the that's this Chelsea team after two. Yeah, goals. yeah definitely. Plays five in the back with two defensive midfielders. Yeah. He plays essentially with eight defenders and midfielders. Yeah, and but their defense is bad, people. though. Their huh? defense is bad. Their defense is really bad. I know, but you knew that going into the season. Let, let uh, me yeah. read off some of the, some of the uh, attackers that they have at their disposal. Kai Havertz, mm-hmm. Zia, Werner, Polisic, Hudson Odoi, Mount, Abraham. That's eight dudes that are, like, legitimately, if not world-class, like, right there. Six world-class. Yeah, that's what I say. <laughs> Tammy Abraham, that's a stretch. Yeah. But, but even so, how many teams in the Premier League would kill to have Tammy Abraham? You they know, take him. He scored yeah. 20 goals in the Premier League last season. And yeah. so his answer with all this attacking talent is to throw out eight defenders – and then pass the ball around defense all game and go nowhere. Yeah, it's – it's you know there's nothing in the world that I hate to see is fucking possession. I'm always, I've always been a defender. I love playing defense. You just passing it around the back doing stupid shit, literally doing nothing. If your goalie touches the ball 50 times in the game, you're wasting the fucking t- – like your possession, bro. You're wasting the time when you have the ball. You need to score. You have all the dudes you just named. You got six dudes that are really good at putting the ball in the net. And you want to play five defenders? You didn't name not one defender on that list, right? No. None of those dudes oh. are on that list that you just named. They all are trash. Every, even if Chelsea dominates a game, it's never 6-0. It's always 6-2. Yep. It'll be 6-1. They always give up a goal. The goalie is great. Granted. But he can't save everything, man. Who? The uh, the black African guy, Mindy. He sucks. What are you he talking just, about? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's had a bad run of form. Stop watching highlights and watch games. First Don't do all, that. He's you good. No, no. He's no. good. He, he got benched for no, a no. Don't shut me up. <laughs> they benched him for the, for the asshole kid that they bought from Chelsea or from Spain. Yeah. Keppa? Yeah. A reason he could do uh, <laughs> <bleep>. it, motherfucker. <laughs> a bleep, bleep, bleep. That's all, folks. That's it. His name is horrible. I think you got to have the throat shit if you really want to say his name proper. Because you got uh, the gobble in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> the goop and the gobble. No, nah, I get you. Look, he's had a bad run of form. I get it. But they're, they're going to concede goals. It is what it is. You can't play five in the back, bro. Fuck that shit. You just got to be like, fuck it, dude. We're going to give goals up, but we need to score eight a game, bro. Your defense is bad. Just admit it. Yes. You bought Thiago Silva. He's 37. This is the thing. Even if you're – their five in the back really looks like a 3-5-2. Like, they're really almost playing three in the back, and then yeah. their outside wingers are also defenders. And that's what who they just <laughs> used to play there. <laughs> they don't have to do that. They can stick yeah. to three, five, two, same system they have, and put Hudson O'Doy on one side, put Reese James on the other one. You know what I mean? Like now you have a little bit more dynamicism. Yeah, their their thing is like back back. Yeah, Reese James is like he's 
good attacking. He kind of reminds you of almost all these wingbacks these days. Yeah. Attack, attacking, great. Horrible defender. Yeah. All he can do is cross. But I just want you to come back. Just be a body so a person isn't having to go one-on-one. Maybe yeah. if there's two people in the space, it'll be like a deterrent. You know what I mean? Yeah. Son, I honestly think he's a little hefty, bro. Like, yeah. I, swear to, I swear to you, he could lose seven pounds and he'd be in better shape. Like, he's just a little hefty. He, he does, of course, you got to have the desire to get back. But, like, he just walks back or, like, slowly jogs back. I'm like, bro, you have to get back. Like, they're playing fucking Esmond Equator in some games. He shouldn't play in any more of the games over you. He, he is be, washed. He should be in the Mikel Arteta unofficial assistant coach role. <laughs> he should be whatever the, the Premier League equivalent of Udonis Haslam is. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yes, he's, he's trash, bro. Bill Russell, player coach. Let me blow your mind here, Terry. Let, let me rattle off some of these uh, brilliant attacking names that Chelsea right. are, are starting. All right, blow me. Marcus Alonso. <laughs> Mateo Kovacic. Jorginho. Reese James. Oh. Now, that's the midfield. Those are the defenders. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, that's true. They're, they're thing. bad. With them, I have no confidence whatsoever that they're going to be able to unlock Atletico's defense, which has yeah. been the stingiest in Europe over the last decade. They're yeah. super fucking disciplined, and you have to earn every single thing with them. Um, the only joint that can that uh, gives me some cause for pause is that Pathetico is also having a hard time scoring. They scored only seven goals in the, yeah. uh, in the group stage. Yeah. And so you look at this and you're like, oh, Chelsea scored a lot in the group stage. Uh, Atletico barely scored anything. Chelsea had six goals off PKs in a group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I mean that a, – a board, Don't watch this game. <laughs> even, yeah. Even – I mean, look, even though PKs are, are – you know, people call Ronaldo Pinaldo because he makes a lot of PKs. But your team is still on the other half of the field getting chances, you know. It, I don't like to see a bunch of PKs as my goals, but it is what it is. At least you're up there. That's not sustainable. Yeah, this, I know. I got you. This tie is going to be boring, Terry. It's going to be a lot of possession that goes nowhere, and then it's going to end with Luis Suarez ripping the entire uh, Chelsea defense a collective new asshole. Yeah, give me a, give me a score. Give me a score. Over two legs or just this next one? Just this game coming up. Just this next one? I'll say 2-0 Atletico. All right. Bet. I got the same shit. But I got, I got 2-1. They'll probably go 2-1. 2-1. Another thing to note is uh, Trippier is not playing in the rest of the Champions League uh, because he got suspended for gambling violations. Ooh, interesting. So their system relies – they also play a 3-5-2 with two wingbacks – uh, mm-hmm. the, the three defenders Trippier plays a crucial role for them and takes most of their set pieces and is, uh, I think is number one on the team in crosses per game they're going to be replacing him with Bersalco, uh who is not exactly known for his attacking prowess hey man so that's one that's, thing that's, as well that yeah. to Atletico a team that already doesn't score is losing their best chance creator so that's right. never a good thing don't watch this don't watch this game <laughs> let's let's move on. We don't even want to talk about it, but we are. Well, let's let's talk about your other team then, Terry. We got Lazio, who's facing up against Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich, not quite the same team they were last year. Still no, not this year. Lazio, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Convince me otherwise, Terry. I don't think I can, son. If if I want to be a devil's advocate. And try to say that Lazio has a chance. I can't do it this time. I tried to do it the last time. I can't do it this time. They're not <laughs> going to be. They're not going to be Bayern. Will I watch the game? Because it might be interesting just to watch. Yeah. But just because of the names. Just an just interesting. It might be interesting to watch Malinkovic Savage see how he plays uh, against the German Bundesliga. <laughs> That's the only thing. How would he play in Germany? <laughs> yeah, pretty much like that. I see Bayern. Definitely thrashing them now. 
yeah. in a world where maybe Lewandowski doesn't, you know, score a bunch of goals in one game, if, you know, Lazio's defense decides to show up and play, you know, decently well, because they do have a, you know, decent defensive tactic. Like, they swarm dudes pretty fast. Maybe they can sneak a 2-1. Maybe they can sneak 3-2. But they're going to give up some goals. You know, and the thing is, can you keep up with Bayern scoring? I'm not sure. They do have guys that are good, but I don't know if their counter is fast enough. Well, let me tell you, it's not. They're, <laughs> they're the oldest team in the Champions League. Yeah. Their average age is 29.6 years old, which is their same age as me. Huh? Yeah. That's the same age as us. We're yeah. Watched. <laughs> Look how old these guys are. They're clean. <laughs> they're fucking washed. God, they're old as shit. Ugh. Oh, my God. It's really gotten to that place for us. Oh, no. <laughs> but they're they're old. And not only are they old, Terry, they are slow. And they have some slow-ass fucking center backs. When we think about uh, Bayern Munich, it's like waves of fucking pace that they can send at you with Sané, Nobry, the other French dude, fucking, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Kingsley Coleman. Coleman, yeah, Coleman. Yeah. They have all these speedy dudes who they yeah, can. It's a plethora. It's a plethora of guys. And your answer is that this is this is going to be a repeat a repeat of the Busquets PK long blade trident. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be fucking Catalonia, Germany. Hey, four one four one thrashing. Yeah, you four one thrashing. Immobile pulls one back off yeah. a nice individual play that he yeah. had no was making. Yeah, but I want to see four zero like Kimmich. Yeah. They moved him into Tiago's spot in the midfield. He's, yeah, and he's he's well. He's playing well. Mm-hmm. Absolutely sensational, and they uh, got Pavard to play right back, so it's not like yeah. they're lacking quality there now. They lose yeah. Tiago and move on like it's nothing. Yeah, he, he, he's a beast, man. He, he's a beast. Their, their team is good. They got a good team. This would take a miracle. This is a bad matchup for Lazio. <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing. Like, Immobile is fast for the Italian league. You're not playing against the Italian league anymore. You're playing against – like, their back line is still decently fast. Like, those guys are pretty fast. Dude, Oliba plays center back for him. Yeah, they – you know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's no alternate fucking Avengers in game universe bullshit that's going to happen in every scenario. It's just like fucking Doctor Strange. There's no scenarios that you can beat. There's only one scenario. Like, I've already looked at six trillion scenarios. It's over. You're not going to win. It's Are done. you telling me that Robert Lewandowski is inevitable? My cock is inevitable. <laughs> hey, in case y'all don't know, whenever Terry runs out of ideas, he always goes back to his dick. This is why every freestyle of his always starts with a bar off his dick. So he treated you uh, to a window of his thinking. Lazio's done. Lazio's done. We can move on to the next one. Terry. Prediction 4 1 for you, huh? 4 1. I got 3 0. Okay. All right. Well, let's move on to a, uh, another Italian team that was sparkling last year but has fallen off somewhat this year. Atalanta, who are playing against Real Madrid. ATL, baby. Yeah, not that – not that <laughs> – not that Atalanta, bro. <laughs> not the, this is the one with the soccer, not with the AIDS. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And when I'm talking Maybe about AIDS, I'm not talking about interns, guys. I'm talking about the hive. Not the beehive. <laughs> they should they should rename Atlanta Buzz City. Ooh. All right, bro. So yeah, this is the most boring game out of all the all the ties. We got Real Madrid. Huh? About Atalanta? You don't like the way they play? I thought you loved the way they play. Last season. Completely. Ah, season by season guy. I see it. Yeah. I see it. 
completely different. They got uh, rid of Papu Gomez, who's their best player. <clears throat> he complained his way out of the club. Switched their formation. Last year they were playing like uh, like Man City. Now they're playing like Real Madrid. Same style. Uh-huh. Power attacks, breaking it. They played the the highest average pace of any team. These two, both of these teams at the mm-hmm. two uh, highest paces. So it's going to be a nonstop counterattacking game. Yeah. No, nah, I mean I, I get you. They lost a, a very important key to like what they were doing. Yeah, and yeah. their their coach is one of these young cats that's like I'm going to play 15 formations during the season anyway. You know. Mm-hmm. What I mean? So he was like, Papu Gomez, you're 34. See you later. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? He was like, we'll adapt and improvise and play a 1 2 1 2 1 2 2 2 1 1. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's not happening, my guy. <laughs> it's not happening. So, what, what do you think, though, like uh, on the other side of the ball? Who, who are they playing against again? I totally forgot what you said. Real Madrid. Oh, God. That's, yeah, you're right. Those are – I don't want to watch Madrid play soccer. They are a disgrace. Like, it hurts my eyes to watch them play, bro. The shit is sloppy as fuck. It's so individualistic, bro. They don't play as a team. Like, everybody's just on their own wavelength. Everybody's looking for the star pass, the super pass. They're not keeping the ball like a team and having, like, these – what do I want to say? Like, dazzling fucking – I don't even know what to say. Like, they suck. I know what you're saying. They weren't doing this shit because the team is split, man. Yeah. There's, like, all the old players, <clears throat> excuse me, who won the Champions Leagues with Ronaldo and Zidane mm-hmm. back in the day. Like, fucking Tony Cruz and Benzema yeah. and uh, Sergio Ramos and all these motherfuckers. And then there was the new generation that they were yeah. to bring in that was going to take over for them. With uh, mm-hmm. uh, what's his face? Fuck, what's that? Vinicius, and Vinicius, Ferling, Mendy, Asensio, Mendy. Yep. All these guys are supposed to be, but Zidane realized these guys aren't any good. <laughs> My best players are still the old guys from before. Yeah, they're just not ready yet, man. They're the only ones doing anything. Anytime the you think of like great combination, it's from yeah. the old dudes. Yeah. That's why they don't have great combinations of passes. They don't ever have triangles. They, it's horrible to watch. It's just watching Casemiro attempt to play offense is the. <laughs> have to go that. The way that they play, it's like let's try to get to the goal as fast as possible, and it just never fucking works. But I, I gotta give this up. He's a rapist, piece of shit, and he looks like. <laughs> yeah. But goddamn, is Kareem Benzema good at soccer? My lord, the stuff, hey. he makes something out of nothing for them a lot. Yeah, he's he, scoring a lot of goals. His one touch passes too for a forward, like his link up play as a, a special yeah. big dude as a forward, is really above reproach. It, yeah. it could be a sight to see some of his one touch layoffs and shit 30 yards on a dime to a winger. Yeah. You know, the only problem with him is he's he doesn't fun. score, <laughs> he doesn't score like great goals. He never has like bangers. Yeah. Like all of it. He's a poacher. He's a straight up poacher, bro. His goals aren't pretty. That's the only reason why nobody gives him any credit. He, he's a better passer than like I'd say like Inzaghi or somebody like that was a poacher. I think Benzema is a complete forward. It, no, no, I'm just saying in terms of how he scores. Like with Suarez and motherfucker. No, I'm saying I'm just saying in terms of how he scores his goals. Like if you watch highlights of just goal highlights, not like you know passing and shit. It, you're just like, uh, like what the? I'm just watching oh, people yeah. score goals. Yeah, they're all like bouncing on the ground, far corner, or get deflected. Yeah. Goals it's or just, like that. or he it's just never anything great in front of his guy in the six yard box. And managed to get a foot in front. Yeah, like real they, fans, they, they understand. Have scored like twenty goals, what? Yeah. twelve years in a row now, something like. Yeah, yeah. Now people like real fans, fans who watch soccer, like they understand the importance of him. But people that, you know, are just fanboys and they watch every now and then, fanboys, fangirls, they're just like, oh, yeah, Benzema's trash. Like, why is he even playing? Like, all the all the FIFA kids <laughs> want to play. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. they, they yeah. want to play Asensio and Isco and Benicia. Yep. That other uh, – who's the other Brazilian dude who I have that everyone's been sucking? Rodrigo. In? Yeah, Rodrigo. Rodrigo, yeah. 
Hey, oh, look, every I time – I dribble and lose the ball every time guys, I see it. Guys, here's a, here's a pro tip. If a player in FIFA is an 87, he's pretty fucking good, and you should probably play him. Just because his fucking stats. Oh, this guy's a 74 with 92 speed, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, Benjamin is a good player. That's why he plays. Zidane understands that. The coach before him understood that shit, too. Like, he's a great player. Nobody can beat him out of the spot. And so this is why, ultimately, I'm going to take Madrid against Atalanta. I think Benzema gets one of his signature counterattacks. I could see this being a real shitty tie and this being like 0-0 zero, zero in the first leg and it coming yeah. down to the second one. Hey, look, it's going to be ugly to watch, but I honestly think Atalanta's going to sneak this first game and then the second game, Madrid, Walmart. yeah, Madrid's going to beat them. I can but see that. I'm going to say sneak mode. I'm going to say sneak mode. Where Where's the game played at? Is it a home game for Madrid or away? I don't know. Do we know? Okay. No, no, I can look it up real quick. That's a big one. So, I I, 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 just, I got Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta. I got Atlanta sneaking this one. I'm going to say like 2-1. Fingers crossed. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got 2-1. I got 2-1. Atlanta's going to sneak a sneaky, sneak, sneak, sneak. You know what I'm saying? They're going to get one. Okay. Okay. Your boy Ilicic, it's all up to you. Hey, we shall see. The boys are sleeping, bro. I'm telling you, Madrid is sleeping. They're sleeping this year in the league, and they're sleeping in the Champions League. They're squeaking by, bro. Hey, and and this ain't the Kansas City Chiefs on some sneak. No, they're, they're sneaking, sneaking by. by, but they still have such quality. Like it's still a gap. Like Marcelo is like playing center mid now, and is like the best center midfielder. He's old as shit. Like these guys won't go away. <laughs> they won't leave. Hey, class is permanent, man. That's what yeah. they always tell you. Yep. Form is temporary. Class is permanent, man. Well, I'll tell you uh, what also is temporary, and that is Borussia Mönchengladbach spotting the Champions League. <laughs> Going up against Manchester City in their tie. Ooh. The boys. The boys are back in town. Yes, sir. We're looking pretty good, man, but we do need a grow back. We're not going to win the, the Champions League if we don't get a grow back. For some, for some reason, Gabriel Jesus can't score a fucking goal to save his life. When Aguero comes back, he should change his name to Muhammad because apparently Jesus wasn't cutting it. <laughs> Smashing hey. joke. <laughs> Boom. Hey, this one's for you, Muhammad Salah. Anyways. <laughs> uh-uh. He'll walk alone in Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> walk alone to the mountain. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, no. Nah, I – Nothing crazy to say. Like, City's going to smack them. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty easy for me to say. Uh, I got a City hat on, and I got a City portrait right behind me. Manchester well, City's going to win 5-0. I have no objectivity. This is over. <laughs> <laughs> Not really might win 5-0, though. I, I, you're the favorites in Europe right now. Playing a great form. football. You've yeah. only given up one goal the entire group stage. They only been scored once the whole Champions League. See, They're, this is the thing. Finally, has the outside backs that he's been dreaming of his yeah. entire time with Zinchenko on the left and Cancelo on the right. Yeah. Well, Jao is finally playing well. He's playing, but it you, you got to give him a chance to play. I understand, and that's the thing that makes it hard for Madrid too. Like when your older players, your older players are just more consistent. But the only way to really gain consistency is to just, like, fuck it. Give the guy a chance to play in multiple games. Casey, you know, when you – Yeah, if you let people play in games back to back to back, that's how you can get good form. It's hard. I give people credit if you can just play well at any time. Anybody right. that's a, a super sub or, like, a six man in any sport, I give you credit. I can't just hop on the field and be great. I have to play, like, all the time to be really fucking good. And that's the, like, that's the case in point for everyone, pretty much. Yeah. If you don't get any time to play, you're not going to get consistent form. You're not going to be good. And your coach is going to be like, well, I tried to give him a chance. No, you didn't. Give him a chance in six games straight and see how he does. That's how they all be doing these players wrong, man. Like, I'll bench yeah. you for six games and then put you in uh, get in the most important game and then he play yeah. like, like, he's not uh, Barca quality or whatever. We did that yeah. shit with Coutinho. We are like, didn't play him the whole season, and then we're like, 
perfect. PSG, or I forget who it was we played last year. Yeah. And it was like, what? And they're like, oh, he's not good enough. And then he'll just go to Bayern Munich and win the Champions League there. Like, oh, I definitely wasn't good enough. Stupid. Yeah. Like, and then the media, they don't understand it. Like, is everybody brainwashed or some shit? We know we clearly see this. Why are we saying, like, oh, this guy fucking blows? Even though he hasn't played in 26 games in a row, he fucking sucks cock. This guy's garbage. We thought he was a star, but no, we're chipping him off to Russia. Like, what the – give these dudes a chance, man. You see what we see. Hey, You got to let them play. Listen, man, there's some people that are, like, so quick, fast. I know you suck. That's like, I don't need to see any yeah. more. Brian Ching, I don't need to watch you play six games in a row. <laughs> I know it's a rant for you, my guy. Fucking yeah. – uh, what's it? Chris Wondolowski. He oh, can yeah. play 40 games in a row and miss a tap-in in the most important moment. So there are some people, it doesn't matter, but most people, you need to get a run of consistency to get your confidence up in yeah. the decision-making process. Yeah. One thing in I case. think interesting is that Cancelo has, uh, like, basically almost moved into midfield in possession. Yeah, he does. He does go in a lot in the middle. Yeah. He's, um, like, fourth in the entire Premier League in, like, chances created. And there's only, like, three players in the world that average, like, two tackles, two interceptions, and, like, 1.5 possible assists a game or something. And he's been yeah, one, yeah. Of, he's one of them. All right. yeah. he, he's a really good player, man. I like what they – I really like when they do that shit. Him and Zinchenko in a different type of way. Yeah. When they go up, they turn the back into a three, and then they just kind of play like that. Like, I really and like what they're doing. I love that. And then it, it's a good way also to get the most out of inverted wingers. Traditionally, yeah, yeah. you have inverted wingers. is like, oh, well, then you're compressing the field and, you know, making the space fall smaller and easier to defend because you don't have natural width. But if you yeah. have your wingers or you have your outside backs tuck in like that, and then you have Rodri or Fernandinho – you know, fan out to the side to create a back mm -hmm. four, you're not sacrificing any width and you're now putting your players on the ball in a position where they're creating mismatches and, and triangles around two. Yeah. Now, they, they look pretty unstoppable, man. But here's the thing. When the going gets tough and we're in the final four, mm -hmm. Pep Guardiola, Wait, you're looking ahead a lot right now, Mr. <laughs> this is the last 16, buddy. Son, we're in here. We're in there. We're not even like – I told you, no objectivity over here. Fuck all that stupid shit. Don't change up the tactics. If you are constantly winning games easily, game after game, why in the fuck would you switch it up? Why would you change your formation? Why would you put players that haven't played in any of your runs, why would you play them at all? Don't tell, do it. I'll tell you, exactly. you always do that shit every time. I'll tell you exactly what happened. First time he did that shit was his first year coaching at Barcelona. We were first in the league, and Real Madrid was second, but behind us by only one point. The first Clasico we had played using our 4-3-3 uh, shit with Messi on the right and Eto in the middle and Henri on the left. And then for the second one, that's when he put Messi as the false nine and put uh, Eto on the right. That's when he did the false nine switch. And we yeah, won. I remember that. That was the Manita game. Everyone sucked his dick and was like, this is the biggest uh, coaching masterstroke, <laughs> revolutionized soccer. It's like Messi scored 95 goals that year and shit. Yeah, and so, I remember that. Yeah, that was his first time where he was like, I'm going to not do what we did well all season. I'm going to yeah. like adapt to the weak link in Real Madrid's defense, and yeah. it ended up working out great. So he took that first moment, and he was like, oh, <laughs> this is how it's just going to be. Yeah, he, 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 he got, he's got to stop doing that shit. Yeah, there's like no – A person, a shot blocker who blocks like a layup. Like, yeah, he, yeah. He, he got, yeah, and now he jumps out of the gym the rest of the game. Yep. I mean, bro, like, there's no – fucking reason in the world why we should have lost to Leon, son. Last year, in the final eight. You, you can't do that shit. That was pure coaching. He literally put in four guys that hadn't been playing in the whole run of our Champions League, son. You can't be doing that type of shit. 
Case in point, we played the same fucking Leon team in the group stages this year and smacked them twice. Yeah. Stop being stupid. Just fucking play your players that are playing well. It's not that hard. This is the other thing, too, right? It's all well and good to make these coaching adjustments to the other team. When you're Leeds or Burnley or – and you are on a limited budget and you're like, we got – this is the only way we're going to beat Man City. We got to yeah. adapt and strike at the place of their uh, weakest. If you've spent a billion dollars on players in the last year, you shouldn't be adapting your strategy to yeah, the other. Yeah. Everyone else should be adapting to you. You're right, bro. God damn it, you're right today. Hey, we gotta get we gotta end this pod then. <laughs> because I don't know what that going must on. be falling or something for us yeah. to start the pod with a you're right and end it. You're right, son. This guy, he's no Stradubus. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> hey, man, you're great, man. You're really great. Nostra Alexandre Dumas. <laughs> Nostra Dumas. Hey, I like that name, man. Is that, that was the last game? That That's the last, last preview? Game, my guy. That was the last one. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, uh, for all you listeners and viewers out there, um, we have another podcast coming out for y'all on Wednesday uh, where we're going to be – giving our all-star selections for the NBA. Yes, sir. Tune in. The team, who didn't, who should have, who got snubbed, and who was overrated. Yep. Be sure to tune into that on Wednesday. Terry, yes, search announcements? Nah, man. We out here chilling, bro. Got dinner planned at 6. It is currently 540, so I need to get my shit up out of here. It's always great doing the pod with you, man. As always, go to thehlspod.com. Follow us subscribe. on YouTube. The most important thing, subscribe to our YouTube. Twitter, we'll get on that at a later date. <laughs> I got it, Twitter. I got it, Twitter. All right, y'all. Thanks again for listening to us. Terry, you enjoy your dinner. It's been a real one. Habitual line steppers out. Thanks for stepping across the line with us. Peace. Thank you, thank you, thank you for listening to our podcast this evening. Thank you, thank you. Far too kind.